Hello siblings, welcome back to my channel. If you guys need to make sure to subscribe, you know the drill. Today has just been one of those days. Let me tell you all about it. I think I'm gonna do a little story time here. Alright, I'm gonna pull this little ogre over here and we can sit down and have a chat. Ignore the mess behind me. I am in the process of like getting ready to move and everything. Uh, let's take out my hair. First of all, I look so cute today and the fit, like, let's just fit check. Yes, I'm currently wearing my Gucci slides, which I forgot I had. I bought these in high school, like, as a joke. Wear them to prom, all this stuff. What am I even here to talk about? Anyways, I'm wearing them because I just went to check my mail. So, I have now, and if you follow me on Instagram, you may have already seen this, but I've now twice locked myself out of my apartment. I'm stupid, like, let me show you how it happens, okay? So right here is where I keep my keys. And I go and I'm unlocking my apartment door and I step out and out of habit, I go lock, step out, shut the door. How funny would it be if I just locked myself out again? So basically, if you're living on your own, don't be stupid like me. Always lock your door with your key and not from the inside. It is so stupid. Um, so I'm gonna do a little story time on how the first time happened and then how this time happened and just, ugh. It was really nice out today though, so I'm not too worried about it. And last time it was pretty nice out too, so two good days. But the problem was last time I had the worst cramps in my life, so that was not a good time. Uh, story time, part one. So part one is like about a month, maybe two months ago. So not that long ago. I've lived in this apartment since October. So about in April, I locked myself out of my apartment and I call my landlord, he doesn't answer. I text him and I'm just sitting in my car. I don't have my car keys, I don't have my apartment key. And I realized this like while I was on the phone with my brother. So I'm like, hey, I'm gonna have to call you back. So I was like, my only solution is to break into my apartment, get a key from my landlord. That's all I've got. So I went and I tried to kind of break into my apartment with like my credit card, but that was not working and I didn't want to break my door. Um, then my landlord takes me back, but it was like maybe 11 a.m. and he was like, I'm not gonna be home until eight or 9 p.m. tonight. So I can meet you with the key then, but I'm coming in from out of town. So I was like, that works. So luckily my cousins live in my neighborhood. There's just a couple streets over. So I walk on over to my cousins and I'm just kind of hanging out there all day. And I had the worst cramps, so that really sucked. But I just like went up and watched Netflix up in their guest room on the bed and just laid there all day. And then I went over and met my landlord and he gave me the spare key. He was like, just drop it off, you know, the next couple days. I was like, I'm so stupid, I'm so sorry. And like, this is not the first just like stupid experience I've had. My landlord has been so nice. Like literally my laundry machine leaked into the garage that's below my apartment. I've had multiple things happen and each time he's been so cool about it. And so I'm like, I'm so embarrassed. He's like, oh, don't be, it's fine. Like I've been through it too. I'm like, okay, thanks. So I come back, get myself my apartment. And I'm like, I'm never gonna do that again. I need to put a key in my garage. So I kept telling myself like either put a spare key, just keep it in my purse, put it in my car, put it in my garage, something. Cause my garage is like detached and it's like, below where my apartment is and I never did that. And so then we fast forward to today. It is now the middle of May, middle to end of May. So literally a month later and this is what happened. So I go to go out of my apartment and I never lock my apartment if I'm just running down and grabbing something out of the garage or just going to check the mail or bringing my trash can just cause like I'll be back in like five seconds. So I was like, I'm not gonna lock my apartment, so I don't need my keys. I didn't grab my keys and I locked my apartment. My brain must have just been all over the place. Like I had just finished filming a video and I just wanted to go bring my trash can in and then I was gonna go edit and I was hungry and I was thirsty. So I was like, I'll just run and go do that real quick. Cause if you don't bring your trash can in on time, they like could charge you a fee, the HOA. So I was like, oh, I gotta go bring my trash can in. <sighs> I locked my door. Like how stupid. I did exactly what I showed you guys, locked it from the inside. And so I'm halfway down the stairs and I think to myself, oh, I wanna check my mail. I'm already gonna be down there in the mail. The mailbox thing is like right across the street from my garage. So I'll just check the mail. So then I run back up to my door. I go to open it, grab my keys. You know, I'm just gonna slip in, grab them right there. No, it's locked. And the terror in my eyes and the pain in my heart and just everything. Like I thought I was gonna have a mental breakdown right then. And so I just start laughing. I'm like, of course, of course this would happen to me. So I run down to my garage, I bring in my trash can and I sit in my car 
And my car keys and my apartment keys are on the same keychain, so I don't have a car key. My spare apartment key and car key are in my apartment that is locked. And I'm like, is any door open? Like, is my patio door open? Can I cr like climb up there and open it? But I know it's locked. So I'm like, I'm gonna have to do the embarrassing thing of texting my landlord yet again, telling him I've locked myself out. Not once, but twice. And within the same like month and a half period. So I text him, I'm like, I have no brain cells. I locked myself out again. I'm so sorry, is there any way you could meet me to get me a spare key? And he's such a cool guy, he's like, I'll be home between 12 and one, you can swing by then and I'll get it for you. Don't worry about it, don't feel embarrassed, don't be sorry. Like he was trying to make me feel better, but I was like, I'm so sorry, I'm so embarrassed, this is so stupid. Um, anyway, so I walk over to my cousin's and luckily it's a super nice day out. It's like high 70s and it hasn't been nice in a while. I'm wearing shorts and a t-shirt. The only awkward thing is I was wearing tennis shoes with no socks because I was just grabbing shoes I had in my basket right here and then just go in to check the mail and so my foot is like wearing this tennis shoes but like a sandal you know when you push down the back part no socks my feet are like sweating I was so thirsty but I walk over to my cousins I'm like I'm so stupid I'm like yeah we'll drive you over there and so I wait and it was like 11 so I only had to wait like an hour and then I drive over and get the key for my landlord I get out of the car and I'm like I'm so sorry I'm so embarrassed thank you so much like you're so nice and he hands it to me he's like if only you know the things that I've done. Like, don't be embarrassed at all. I was like, okay, thank you, you're so nice. And so I come home and I just got home. So now I'm in my apartment. But like, how? Not once, but twice. And within the same time period. And the worst part is that I'm planning on moving in like a month. So like, I really couldn't wait just one more month to lock myself out of my apartment. Like I had to do it while I still lived in the same apartment. <sighs> anyway. You think I would learn my lesson one time, but I did not. So now, I took a spare car key and a spare apartment key and I put it in my garage and there's one in here. So I should no longer be doing that stupid thing. And if I do, I have my spare key in my garage. I just feel so stupid. So anyway, I thought I'd just make this story time for anyone else who has done this to not feel so embarrassed, not feel so stupid about yourself and Maybe you guys can learn from me and don't lock your apartment door from the inside. Also, put a spare key in your garage or your car or something. Also, don't lock yourself out. You know, just don't be stupid. <laughs> anyway, I'm just like still in shock. So yeah, this is a PSA. This is a helpful tip, whatever it is. It just, I needed to talk about it and let it out and um, embarrass myself a little bit here. And you know, if you've done the same thing, you're not, I'm here for you. I've done it too. Anyway, there's my story time. Guys, it is so nice out. Oh my gosh, that was so cute. Ace, <laughs> hey, you wanna come out? I let them out. Come here, children. You made come outside. What was I, what was that? I don't know. I wish I could like film out here on my porch more often, but there's so much construction. I'm sure you guys can hear it that it is not possible to film out here. So this is a rarity. Also, I already know because this stuff like comes off so easily from the floor. My butt is probably covered in stuff. Oh, actually not too bad. I'm filming. Are you guys gonna come outside or like, am I waiting for nothing? They like want to come out all day. I let them out and they're like, um, actually, we're terrified. So close, yet so far. All right, mom's over it. Hope you guys had fun. Also, because I locked myself out, I haven't gotten to eat any food today. So enjoy this little breakfast montage. Down, yeah. I've been feeling so, I've been feeling so. Down, yeah. Can you tell me why? Can you tell me why? I'm down, yeah. No friends of mine, no friends of mine around, yeah Now I'm thinking now, now I'm thinking now Buy the car, the dream blows, yeah I wanna drown myself inside the juice, yeah You know I keep on running from the truth Is that now? Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed I'll see you guys in the next one, bye <laughs>